Might not be as close tonight. One of these days I'll put a rubber band on that thing and hold it in place or something and then just try adjust the tripod. <laughs> that would work too, wouldn't it? Yep, I'll be glad to scoot closer to you. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Well, good evening. All you Eastern people that are already at 9 o'clock and ready to go to bed, can you stay awake for another hour and join us in singing? <laughs> Welcome to the unrehearsed, unedited, just for fun and just because we can and we love Jesus and we love singing. Living Room Sing Along with Mark and Ruth Nisley. All right, so glad to have you all join us, and uh, we're going to try to go through a bunch of requests. The day went kind of fast for me in some ways. I got an early start, though. I had a deadline to meet this morning. I had to write an article for our newsletter, and I was way behind time, and I got a little email from the editor, and he said, he had sent me an email two days ago waiting and then <laughs> yesterday morning or yesterday last night I think I got another email and said still waiting <laughs> so four o'clock I got up and uh, could go to sleep and did some thinking and started trying to put something together I didn't have the motivation for a while but you here motivate me to sing so sing along another hot day in Georgia Folks, it got hot here, too. We gave those Pennsylvania young people a warm reception. Now, I saw the bus going out towards the coast, I think already around 1 o'clock or something like that. Pretty soon, they're heading out there, and it's probably pretty cool out there, so hopefully it all cool down. Hi, Stephen Nisley. You've been rolling up and down the roads. And I'll tell you what, I see some of the pictures of you trucking, and I'm like, that boy gets everywhere. <laughs> Anyway, let's do some praise in the Lord together. You know this one, I think. Garment of praise. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Lift up your voice to God. Praise with the spirit and with understanding. Oh, magnify the Lord. All you that mourn. from Zion's hill, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, lift up your voice to God, and praise with the spirit and with understanding, oh magnify the Lord. Yeah, I saw somebody said that we were going to put sing them to sleep tonight, that's all right. You got to keep singing though until just before you go to sleep, right? <laughs> oh, Mary Ann says, my sister Mary Ann from Pennsylvania says she got some rain. Hey, that's pretty cool. Speaking of sleep, and there's a cute little story I heard. Uh, Mom and Dad were taking Junior and Sally on the way to church, and they were telling Sally that, you know, you, you got to behave and be quiet in church. And Sally said, Why should I be quiet in church, Mom? And little Junior sitting there said, that's easy because there's people there trying to sleep. <laughs> anyway, let's do freely, freely yet. In the key of D, God forgave my sins in Jesus' name. I've been born again. Share his love as he told me to. He 
said freely, freely, you have received, freely, freely give. Go in my name and because you believe, others will know that I live. All power is given in Jesus' name, and in earth and heaven, in Jesus' name, and in Jesus' name I come to you to share his power like he told us to. He said freely, freely, you have received freely, freely give. Go in my name and because you believe, others will know that I live. Amen. So freely you've received, freely you shall give. I tell you what, welcome. You got your popcorn out yet? You had your uh, got your shoes kicked off and you're enjoying yourself here in the living room? That's what we're hoping for. Make yourself at home and enjoy the enjoy the fellowship. All right, let's go with some requests right away. We're hearing from who? Okay, Cora Koblenz requested, What a mighty God we serve. Cora Koblenz, she is a relative of yours, right? Cousin? What a mighty God we serve. That one? What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and Some of you folks are talking about rain that you got there in the Chambersburg area, Nancy Coons says. And hey, Nathan, your girlfriend's birthday tomorrow? Well, my goodness, we need to sing happy birthday to her, that's for sure. All right, and it's raining in Churchtown. <laughs> it's not raining here. We're getting some dry weather. It's starting to look brown outside. We've gone from the many shades of green here in Oregon, and there's a lot of different beautiful shades of green, to many shades of brown. Yeah, so now we're all kind of, you know, we're holding, not holding our breath, but there's these fires that start up in the fields when the guys are out harvesting their seed, and uh, it's a big deal. they got to really watch out for that kind of thing. Anyway, what do we got next, Ruth? Okay, Alice Napier requested the love of God. The love of God for Alice. Okay, Alice, this is for you. We're going to do this in the key of D for all you who want to strum along. The love of God is greater for beyond the highest star and reaches to the lowest hell. The guilty pair bowed down with care. God gave His Son to win. His erring child He reconciled and poured it from His sin. O oh, love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless This verse, could we with think the ocean fill and were the skies of paper made parchment, were every stalk on earth a quill and every man a scribe by trade to light the love who got above would drain the ocean dry, nor could the scroll contain the Stretched from sky to sky. Help me out. Oh, love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong. It shall forevermore endure the saints and angels' song. Amen. 
I'll tell you, I have said this once, I've said it a dozen times, there is nothing as powerful as love, God's love, and we don't even comprehend but a small part of it, and someday we're going to see it in all its glory, and we're going to say, why wasn't I more loving? <laughs> I'll tell you what, anyway, that was from our For What It's Worth department there. Okay, Eileen Miller requested, Oh, Father, lead us. Ooh, Eileen, you're putting us through the works here. Oh, man. I don't know if I can play guitar with this or not. We'll try it once. Let me see. B flat. Let's go to A. We'll try it. Oh, Father. Chestertown area, well, somewhere in there, not Chestertown area. Well, I was born in the hospital, Chestertown. But anyway, we lived on a farm, and the farm was not too far away from a sand pit or a, or a, a quarry of some kind, a sand pit, I guess. And um, one day, my brother David and Chris and I went over there, and I was knee high to a puddle of dark. I was just a little guy, and <coughs> excuse me, and we were over there for some reason. Uh, we were walking along the paths there, and, and I think we had even packed a little lunch we were going to eat there. And uh, I decided I want to go a certain way up a path, and my brother said, we're not going up that way. And I said, well, I am. I guess I was a little know-it-all. Don't know how that could have ever happened. <laughs> anyway, so I go walking up there, and next thing I knew, I was by myself. And I got scared real quick. I remember saying, Help, David, Chris, or whatever I was yelling, and I thought, of that, I thought of that because they came to my rescue. They probably did it on purpose to teach me a lesson. I don't know. I got some good big brothers. I'll tell you, big brothers are the best for teaching you lessons. My one, to, oh, I'm going off on another story. Anyway, um, where was I going with that one? Oh, when we sing that when that song, fears off to fright us, doubtings go before. And then it comes out, oh, Father, lead us. <laughs> I'll tell you, we, we, we feel that way sometimes. And we just cry out to the Lord, oh, Lord, lead us. Now and nevermore. Anyway, <laughs> where are we going next? Okay. Um, Lynette and Robert Gentry requested, I'll fly away. All right. This is for you bluegrass people or you banjo people. For somebody that just likes to sing it fast Some glad morning when this life is over
just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away to a land where joy will never end. Stop getting my breath. I'm going to fly away. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's just too much fun. I was beating that old guitar to death. I, I listened a little bit to one of the sing-alongs. It's not a good idea because you start critiquing myself. But I was loading the one up on YouTube, which, by the way, they're up there on YouTube if you want Mark Amos Nisley. And um, I was listening to it. I said, man, I beat that guitar to death. <laughs> so not a whole lot of finesse here, but we're having fun at our sing-along. So, yeah. Okay, Laura Hunsberger requested part the waters, Lord. We know this. Laura Hunsberger? <laughs> I don't know if we know this. How's it go? When I think I'm going to go part the waters, Lord. Is that right? When I feel you is around me on the sea. When I cry for help, I Sorry guys, knowing you love me, through the burden I must share, hearing your footsteps, lets me know that I'm in your care, in the night of my life, you bring promise of day, here's my hand, show me the Show me the show me how to sing this song. <laughs> I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I like the chorus, it sounds good. So we'll try to do it on a own tune. Knowing you love me. Through the burden I must bear. Is that right? This is the chorus. Oh, oh, okay, that's the chorus. Thank you very much. When I think I'm going under part the water. Okay, that well, I'll stop there. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry about that, Laura. We gave it a run for your money. I think we had one line right in that whole song, at least. So, let me see. That's 90%. That's as good as a COVID test. No, never mind. I didn't go there. <laughs> oh, boy. We try. <laughs> okay. Darlene Sakers requested Abide With Me. Ah, oh, this is a good one. Abide With Me. What a beautiful prayer. Let's see. It's written in D. We'll do it in D. It's written in D, we'll do it in D, right? Abide with me, fast falls the eventide. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee. Just not abide with
have thought of that abiding, abiding presence. You know, my, my, my daughter, Dorcas, she says, Dad, once a tenor, always a tenor, because I keep mixing up my tenor lines in there. But I love that tenor line in there. When other helpers fail and comforts flee. Something like that. Yeah, good song, good song. Great harmony in there. And also a beautiful prayer. God abides with us. Abide, that luck. I like that. Jesus said, if you abide in me and, I, and my words abide in you. Yeah, the idea is that he will make us fruitful through his word. Wow. All right. That gives us something more to sing about. Where are we going now? Okay, Mary Mathna, if you're here, you requested Don't Let Me Leave. That's a song our daughter wrote and sang, and I didn't get the words. Oh, man, we can't so. do it then. We'll have to do it. Yeah, Dork, or LaDonna wrote that CD. song and she put it on the CD. That's maybe where Mary heard it. Probably. Yeah. Say, goes, uh, I'm not going to try it. I could, I could get to the chorus, but we need to get those words and sing that, sing the verses sometime. Uh, yeah. So then, Bonnie Killian requested, "Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just a comment. Okay, we'll go with Bonnie's song, but just a comment about that song, Don't Let Me Leave. The, 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 the verse, or the idea, it's a prayer that says, Don't let me leave before... Before I bring some soul to you. It reminds me of that old song. We should dig that out and sing it. Must I go and empty handed. Must I go and empty handed. And I think about that sometimes. Um, it almost scares me. Because I think of all the opportunities. That I had to talk to someone about the Lord. I'm serious. I had a lot of chances. And I didn't take a lot of them. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I look back and think. Boy. Uh, I sure hope I don't go before the Lord. And he says man. You just wasted your whole life, buddy. <laughs> I don't think he'll say that. He'll say, welcome home, right? But yeah, anyway. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. I like this one too. Let me see. Let's do it in the E. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to Save the Lord Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I proved Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. This I'm so glad. Today, not very often we get a phone call from a from a sing-along friend, but this gal called, uh, and she is the mother in the mother of Carmen Byler. Yep. Lee, her <laughs> husband passed away. What? Not very long ago. Most of you, or many of you, may have followed his life on the Facebook or their story. Just so. Uh, pulled at your heart the journey that they went on quite a journey and, and uh, quite a man of God Lee was anyway so Carmen's mom and her dad and her husband and Carmen and Lee were out in Oregon and actually stayed at our house they came out for some kind of treatments I think in uh, in Portland there and we weren't there because we were it was it was the time we were heading back to um, uh, the Nisley reunion and so we never got to talk to each other except on the phone and that kind of thing. Anyway, there's a lot of uh, a lot of relative talk that you could do with with that. Because, but there's a couple of things I wanted to point out. Small world, I'll tell you. Uh, this Carmen's mom. Uh, what's her name? Oh, oh man, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name. Did you figure it out? Not I Ruth. I think it's Mary. Mary. Anyway, sure. her husband yeah. Ernest. Uh, when she was a teenager, she stayed at Ruth's parents and helped helped out. 
as a little, as a young teenager. She said she was only 16 or 17, and she would have actually, you know, maybe even changed Ruth's diaper. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. Oh, and then she said she remembers my mom, because mom and dad would visit there in Virginia, too. And she says she remembers my mom singing with tears in her eyes, and she wondered what their tears came from. And then she heard part of our story, and she puts two and two together. But anyway, so I, I thought that was so cool. Uh, the connections that we're making on Sing Along, I just, you know. Mary Ellen. Oh, it's Mary Ellen. Okay. The connections that we made uh, in the Sing Along um, have, been, have been rewarding for us. They really have been. So thanks for sharing. Small world. We'll have to sing Disney. It's a small world after all. <laughs> Where are we going now again? You already said it, didn't you? Dan and Rosie Martin requested, There shall be showers of blessings. Hey, the Martins were wanting some rain. <laughs> there shall be showers of blessings. We're going to do this one in the key of G, I think. Yeah. There shall be showers of blessing. This is a promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing. Sent from the Savior. dry and thirsty land spiritually don't we that's for sure there shall be showers of blessing oh that today they might fall now as to god we're confessing now as on jesus we call showers of blessing showers of blessing we need mercy Round us are falling, but for the showers we bleed. That's a fun song. Let's do another verse. There shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again. Amen. Over the hills and the valleys, sound in abundance of rain. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are calling, but for the showers we plead. Amen. <laughs> oh, talking about, I'm going to pull this one out of my hat here. Wait, what hat? Out of my head, I'm going to try to. But here, uh, a couple nights ago, I talked about, I don't know where we got on the subject, uh, Dan Yutz. I'm not sure I'm saying his name right. UTZ and Uts. Oh, that's like those Uts chips. Maybe, maybe, maybe he owns that company. But anyway, so somebody told him that we talked about him, that I talked about him. Well, I hope I said the right thing. And uh, then he messaged me back, and, and we, and we, you know, kind of reconnected a little bit, and he blessed me. And but um, I, I think I made this statement. I for some reason. There's something about his singing and playing uh, when he was on the Canadian Gospel Echoes team that just got me. And I loved his style. I think he was he's really a good guitarist. And um, he sang, I'm pretty sure he sang, or the group sang, this song about country music. And so I thought, I wonder if I can remember that. So here's what I remember of it. I won't remember all the words, but I'm going to try some of it. Because I, I grew up, uh, you know, Dad would put the radio on in the barn and leave it going. Sometimes he'd get the local country music station. And, and uh, you know, I, got, I really liked country music. And I got to listening to so much of it. Then I wondered why I was struggling morally in my mind. And I got to thinking, well, the Lord convicted me. He said, man, there's a lot of trash in that country music. There really was. And I once told somebody, the word picture I got is like, I had to dig through a whole pile of manure just to get the corn that was on the bottom. That's gross, but anyway, that's what I got, farm boy. So, so this song talks about that, and we sang it as a family, I think, didn't we? I remember singing. I think we actually got a recording on a cassette tape of it. We've been hearing country songs for years. Some of that country music can drive a man to tears. I don't want to hear about cheating anymore No 
drink and sleeping around or slamming the door or something like that. Let's sing about Jesus. He'll take your sin away. Let's sing about what is right. Like loving enough to stay amazing grace. Oh, how sweet the sound. Give it to Jesus. He'll take your pain away. Sit away, something like that. There's nothing that's so great in a country song. So let's not forget about what is right and what is up your on the floor, sound like, but let's sing about Jesus, he'll take your pain away, let's sing about what is right, like loving enough to stay, amazing grace, oh how sweet the sound, give it to Jesus, he'll take your sin away. Like that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that song. Okay, Judy Hartman requested It Is Well. Oh yes, It Is Well With My Soul. I tell you what, like I said before, this story behind this hymn is powerful, but it's also good for us. Is it well with your soul tonight? Yeah, let's do ourselves a little maintenance check, right? I think we'll try it and see. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say. talking too much, but I had another memory, <laughs> a flashback. I remember, this is going to sound goofy to some of you guys, I know, but then again, that's all right. I remember I wanted a guitar so bad when I was a kid, and you'll have to understand that the church that we were attending did not look too pleasantly on musical instruments. I remember one message that just kind of discouraged me where they said that most of the music talked about in the Bible was used, anyway. I didn't agree with it. but And so I remember distinctly one day I was down on my knees praying, or I was praying, and I said, God, if you get me a guitar, I promise I'll use it for your glory. And that has actually affected the way I've used guitar because we were singing about country songs, you know. And one of the things that I run into, I love to sing these songs about nature. I think that's for glory's God, or the glory of God. A marriage, a love and a marriage and all this. But I try really hard to draw the line in anything that glorifies sin or glorifies something other than God and, and good. 
And, uh, you know, some of it's pretty tough. I have to change a few words. Sometimes there's a whole great song, like a good movie, and then there's just a few things in there that I, that I want to use, I don't want there. But anyway, uh, yeah, that kind of flashed into my mind, and uh, God gave me my guitar, and I don't think I've kept my word all the time, but but uh, praise the Lord for answering that prayer. Anyway, where are we going next, honey? Children's section. <laughs> I remember once uh, I was singing and, and uh, one of the ladies said, Hey, would you sing that song, All My Exes Live in Texas? <laughs> I said, No, I don't sing them kind of songs. She was kind of perturbed at me. Are we talking children? Hey, children, are you around? All right, kids, it's children sing along time. We're going to start with something that your parents are glad for called he's still working on me and who is it okay he's still working on me help us out kids to make me what i ought to be it took him just a week to make the moon and stars the sun Side upon my heart. Don't judge me yet, I'm an unfinished part. But I'll be perfect just according to his plan, fashioned by the master's loving hand. He's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. It took him just the on us guys okay tomorrow is daisy girl's birthday no kidding daisy yeah. oh how old is she gonna be she's gonna be six six years old daisy all right happy birthday tomorrow to her. tomorrow oh yeah we gotta sing to she her wants us to sing bless the lord of oh, my soul that's yes. her favorite that's song. her favorite song i love to do that we're gonna do that we're gonna sing happy birthday to daisy there was somebody else on there that said they had a birthday oh that was tomorrow nathan Blake's girlfriend i don't know actually her name. daisy's birthday's tomorrow too but we're not singing tomorrow yeah we're not singing tomorrow so we're gonna sing this for you guys happy birthday to daisy daisy we're all singing for you Happy birthday, whoops, wrong key, I do that every time. Happy birthday to you, Daisy. Happy birthday to you, Daisy. Happy birthday, dear Daisy. Happy birthday to you. If you don't know who Daisy is, we befriended her on the sing-along, a sing-along connection, and a beautiful gal. She's got a little video that we put on our... Facebook page somewhere, sing along page, and we're going to sing Bless the Lord. Help us, guys. You know this song. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be singing when the evening comes to so bless the Lord oh my soul oh my soul I worship his voice Ten thousand reasons for my 
Christ hard to find. And bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Yes, I'll worship Your holy Happy birthday, Daisy. We love you. And Jesus loves you. Well, I just saw um, Carmen come on uh, into the room, or at least it, her name popped up there. If you're still here, Carmen, uh, when I see your name, I think of something, and I hope it doesn't upset you, but I think of a, I'm in the presence of a real hero of the faith. And uh, you may not feel that, but uh, <laughs> you have, you've blessed many people with your testimony. And even what I just read today, <laughs> thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, and as much as we can, we weep with you and we rejoice with you on your journey. May you sense God's presence and grace just in a powerful way, uh, more than you could ever even imagine. That's our blessing wish for you tonight. Wow, i got to move on. Is that, do we, is that all the children one tonight? Yeah. Oh, we should sing another children's song. What's one that comes to your mind? Um, let's do um, 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 happy, happy. If you're happy and you know it, want to do that? No. I'll tell you what. If you're happy and you know it, believe it or not, we sing that in the um, in the senior center a lot because we call it our exercise song, and it is so much fun to watch some of those elderly folks who don't move a whole lot try to do the clapping and the stomping the feet and the saying the amen. Remember that one? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stop, stop. Now we're going to do the last one, cowboy version. If you're happy and you know it, say yee-haw, yee-haw. If you're happy and you know it, say yee-haw, yee-haw. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say yee-haw, yee-haw. Let's do Life is Like a Mountain Railroad. Do you want to do that one next? Oh, maybe we should do the love song. You want to do the love song next? I asked Ruth if she got a love song tonight for us, and she picked the one she likes so well. So I hope you don't it don't wear out for you, but it's called Rose of My Heart. And uh, thank you, Gail, for telling us about that one. best partners this world's ever seen, together as close as can be. But sometimes it's hard to find time in between to tell you what you are to me. You are the rose of my heart. You are the love of my life. A flower falling apart when you're tired rest your head on my arm rose of my heart when sorrow holds you in her arms of clay it's raindrops that fall from your eyes. Your smiles like the sun's come to earth for a day. You brighten my blackest of skies. But you are the rose of my heart. But you are the love of my life. A flower not fading nor falling apart. When you're cold, let my love make you warm, rose of my heart. Mm -hmm. 
So hard times or easy times, what do I care? There's nothing I'd change if I could. The tears and the laughter are the things that we share. Your hand in mine makes all times good. You are the rose of my heart. You are the love of my life. A flower not fading nor falling apart. Here my arbor in life's restless storm. Rose of my heart. There's a, there's a line in that song that says, The tears and the laughter are things that we share. And we often like to think about sharing our laughter, our happy times together. But there is something precious, too, in being able to weep with each other. I know for us men, sometimes it's kind of difficult to do. When we see our wives crying, we think we have to fix it and make them feel good. And sometimes all they want us to do is just sit there and cry with them, right? <laughs> and share that pain. Hey, Butchie's here. How you doing, Trev? What's yeah, up? Um, got a text from Kay. What'd she say? She said uh, she had a, she wanted a favor and asked if we could sing the song um, Bigger Than All My Problems. Bigger Than All My Problems? Yeah, yeah we can do that. parents aren't going to be here. The okay, do you have the words? Um, they should be in that orange book, I think. Uh, yeah, if you find, we can maybe sing one verse without the words if you don't, if you can't find them, buddy. All right, Kay. For those of you who don't know, Kay Yoder would be, would be um, Trevor's birth mom, um, and so yeah. Okay, are you gonna sing this one? Or? Oh yeah, I was gonna do "Life Is Like a Mountain River," but I was gonna have Trevor blow the horn. But now you have to blow the horn, I guess. You be the engineer. Give us some law. You well, you know how to do this. You've done "Life Is Like a Mountain River" before. What am I telling you how to do it? We'd like to try to imitate, 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 <laughs> there's a new word for you, imitate the sound of the train if we can. Oh, 
train will glide. There you'll meet the superintendent, God the Father, God the Son, with the hearty, joyous pumpkin, weary pilgrim, welcome home. Blessed Savior, Thou wilt guide us till we reach that blissful shore, where the steam there. That's what happens to us old people, I'll tell you what. All right, somebody said we should. Yeah, Christ is our conductor. Amen, Bertie. He's the one that calls the shots. Amen? Uh, um, Someone asked about popcorn. He's sleeping. Popcorn sleeping. And Trevor ain't gonna wake him up because he used him last night, right? All right, Trevor. Do you have the words? Lay him down there, big guy. He's our... You all right there? Lean down so they can see the top of your head, too, a little bit. There you go. Bigger than all the shadows. Up the, I got the wrong pitch. Sorry, I do. I, I should write the pitch down, shouldn't I? Bigger than all the shadows that fall. Bigger than all the shadows that fall across my path. It's bigger than any mountain that I can or cannot see. He's bigger than all the confusion. Somebody said Grandma's Feather Bay. We'll save that for tomorrow night, right? Or should we? Okay. Here's an oldie goldie from way back. If you know this song, man, you're older than dirt.
where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Somebody once said, give me a home where the deer and antelope play and you're going to find a dirty home. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, Carla Schooley requested One Day at a Time. No, Stephanie Zimmerman, I do not know that song in Dutch. I don't know any songs in Dutch because when I speak Dutch, I don't know how to speak me because I don't really how to speak Dutch. Yeah, uh, David, or was it David that said he smelled a skunk smell outside? <laughs> David, you need popcorn there to chase him away. Now, who asked for one day at a time? Beautiful prayer. Carla Schooley. Carla Schooley, this is for you, my friend. I'm only human. We'll sing woman for her. I'm just a woman. Help me believe in what I could. Show me the stairway I have to climb the Lord for my sake Teach me to take one day at a time One day at a time Sweet Jesus That's all thinking of that when I was thinking about the diet that I'm supposed to be on. Oh my word, my daughter talked me into that 30 miles in 30 days and all this stuff and, and I was thinking about that I'm going to need that. Lord help me today. It says it's worse now than, what was that song? Uh, One Day at a Time. Oh. Do we know this? Anyway, there's a line in it I thought fit with the diet. Do we know what? I don't know. On the, far, know on the far banks of Three people requested this song, but I don't think we know it. Well, that's because one saw the other requested, and then the other saw that. No, I don't know. <laughs> How's it go? Far side of Jordan. Let me see. Let's let's just look at it a little bit. Do me so. I believe my steps are. I believe my steps are growing. We're growing. We're each day. Sorry, 
I thought it might Sorry. come to me. My deepest apologetics for that. <laughs> um, okay, Fanny Humphreys requested how great thou art. All right, Fanny. Hey, I saw Annie and Fanny were both on here tonight, I think. Did you see that? God bless you, dear twins from back in. Oh, man, they were, I tell you what, when they got together with my sisters, they made memories that I'll never forget. I, I, I'll tell you what I remember about you girls and, with, and my sisters laughing. Oh, my goodness, you guys would get to laughing. And I had to just run out of the room just to survive. <laughs> just kidding. All right, how great they are. We're going to do this in the key of A, I think. Yeah. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power through feeling my fingers got I should show you guys I'll have to put pictures seven, 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 pictures seven. on Facebook of my fingers the grooves in my fingers from the guitar strings <laughs> it's crazy I've been getting calluses I've been tempted to pick them off but I know what happens when you pick calluses off it gets real sore <laughs> oh yeah okay Pam Chop requested Jesus is a rock in a weary land oh and man this is a great song there's a really neat chorale arrangement of this song that we learned uh, for a convention at a high school choir. Remember that? It, it, anyway, uh, boy, yeah. For what it's worth. I'm going back memory lane too much here. The Lord's our rock, in Him we hide. A shelter in the time of storm. Seek your whatever rules beside. A shelter in the time of Stop. 
shelter in the time of storm. Yes, he is. Come to Jesus and experience the safety, the shelter in the time of storm. A lot of storms around us, people. A lot of spiritual warfare out there. Oh, wow. Who asked for this one? Uh, Lois Hagee. This brings memories back Richard of... from God. Yeah, Lois Hagee. Brings memories back of my sister Naomi and I sitting there singing. Maybe she remembered. Did we do that at the sing-along? I, I think I got my sister up to do that. Yeah. I forget the Lundstroms, I think, used to sing this one. You've been running, running for a long, long time. You've been running, running with no peace of mind. You regret the day you turned away and became a fugitive from. Welcome you home. You were never meant to walk the path you trod. How long will you run away, a fugitive from God? You've been wasting, wasting all your life in sin. You've been seeking, seeking. But here, you can see the light, but you chose the night to become a fugitive from God. Why don't you turn, turn, turn around? Why do you wrong? Can't you see God the Father ways to welcome you home? Searching, searching for his long lost child. He's been calling, calling for a long, long while. If you hear his voice, thank him. Your choice don't remain a fugitive from God. Why don't you turn, turn, turn around? Why? I said I like that song. I don't like what's happening in that song, but the, the, the truth is it's a welcoming come back to the Lord, don't run from God song. Another thought I had, you know, Ruth here, she's singing melody with me. Poor girl. I changed my timing so many times. Uh, somebody once said that they, we, we sang together for a while. I think it was Gary Nice, and we, we, we sang the same song, or but we never do it the same. He said, yeah, the name of our group is We Never Do It The Same Way. <laughs> or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway. Okay, Susanna Griffith requests it work for the night is coming. Susanna, you want me to get to work? Oh, come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> work for the night is coming. Mm. We better knock it off. Is this our last one? Uh, let's do another one. Oh, okay. We can do another one. Yeah. All right. Two, All right. Work for the night is coming. Work through the morning hours.
appreciate it when you're out working and you're complaining, picking peas in the garden, and your mom starts singing it. <laughs> we'll work for the night is coming under the sunset skies. While their bright tints are glowing, work for daylight flies. Work till the last beam faded, faded to shine no more. Work while the night is darkening, when our work is o'er. Suzanne, I'm glad you asked for that song. I kind of was giving you a hard time there, but that's a that's a beautiful reminder that we need to be what Jesus said about my father's business, right? And yeah, there's a lot of work to be done out there, especially in the spiritual kingdom. <clears throat> Won't it be wonderful there? Who asked for this one? <clears throat> um, Rhoda Severia. Rhoda. This is for you, Rhoda. Yes, it is going to be wonderful there, and it's worth singing about, I'll tell you. When with the Savior we enter the glory land, won't it be wonderful there? Lend it the troubles and cares of the story land, won't it be wonderful there? Won't it be wonderful there? Having no burden to bear, joyously singing with heart bells all ringing. Got a good one to wrap up on, honey? No. Oh. Which one? I don't know. We got a lot one. I don't know. That one, uh, how sweet the name. We better work on that one a little bit. How about, uh, what's the last one? How Beautiful Heaven Must Be. Anna Greenwich. Yeah, we can do that one. And Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. We can do those two. Can we do those two yet? Okay. We didn't do any truck driving songs tonight. We didn't do any uh, parodies tonight. Our apologies. I guess you just have to come back or give us some more. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a good time, though. Just really love the focus tonight on the, the many different aspects of serving Christ and, yeah, encouraging each other. Where are we going? Hey, okay, Annette <clears throat> and Robert Gentry requested Leaning on the Everlasting Arm. Annette and Robert, this is for you. Leaning on the Everlasting Arm. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms, what a blessedness, what a peace is mine. Leaning on the everlasting arms, <clears throat> leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarm. Leaning, oh I'm. Sing that song, I think of that little chorus, Learning to Lean as well. <clears throat> yes, we are learning to lean on the everlasting arms. I tell the old folks at the nursing home that, 
that that's the song that uh, we got to claim all the time because we're always leaning on something, you know. We also, when we get up, we have to rock a couple times. We call that the rock of ages, right? <laughs> all right, we're going to sing one more about how beautiful heaven must be. And this is for Anna. Anna, this is for you. <clears throat> we read of a place that's called heaven. It's made for the pure and the free. These truths in God's word he has given. How beautiful heaven must be. How beautiful heaven must be. Sweet home of the happy and free. Fair haven of rest for the for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this time together. You know, for some reason I feel like the Lord wants me to share a prayer request. One thing we're praying about is for this young guy here, Trevor, to be able to find a job that, that will fit his um, skill level and and uh, it's been kind of tough, especially during the COVID season uh, um, to find something and or even before that. And uh, yeah, so just a prayer. Join us in praying for that. Um, God hears our prayers. And I appreciate all the praying that I see and hear being done in this room. Let's pray together as we leave. Father God, we thank you for the many ways that you continue to bless our lives. We think of what uh, the scenario that we live in right now, the, the unrest, the division, the fears. And we bring ourselves to you, Father, and we pray that you would give us wisdom, that you would give us a response by your Holy Spirit that is proper and that glorifies you. And that works for the healing of people, of the, of the country, of each other. And Father God, we just pray that you would in a powerful way sweep through our country, sweep through our nation. We call out to you tonight. We pray for people to come to repentance. May we be a repenting nation. Forgive us, Father, for the sins of our country, for the sins of abortion, for the sins of immorality, for the many other sins, Lord. We just lift ourselves up to you. We pray that you would cleanse us. And uh, Father God, we also pray that you would uh, bless each one who is in this room with your presence tonight. May we have a peaceful night's sleep. May we be reminded again of your greatness, your love for us. You're a great God. We bring to you tonight those who are not feeling well physically. Perhaps there are some here that are struggling from the virus. We just pray for healing, for protection. We pray for continued protection from that as well, Lord. You are an amazing God. And you have a purpose in what you allow and what you don't allow. So we just pray that your purpose, your will, will be done in our lives. We pray this for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.